there are times when we pray and seek out the Lord's wisdom and he doesn't answer. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 28 says, And they will call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. What do you think the Lord is talking about there? Well, here's the thing, is that God is trying to speak into our lives. But when there is sin in our life, we're going to struggle to hear the Lord. And he's not going to be inclined to answer our prayers. And on the counter to this, we have Jeremiah 29, 11 to 14. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. When you search for me, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. I will let you find me, says the Lord. And I will restore the fortunes and gather you from the nations and all the places I have driven you. The truth is this, and I can tell you from personal testimony, is that God can restore everything that's lost. The dignity, the pride, the shame, the financial resources, whatever it is that is lost. But to do so, you first need to repent. You need to admit the parts of your life where you have got it wrong and keep on getting it wrong. It's kind of like this, and I always think of a hose pipe, is if you keep your hose pipe in a big pile on the floor and you, you pull it out and you turn on the tap, sometimes the water doesn't flow. It doesn't flow because there are kinks in that hose pipe. And the only way is to work backwards and find the kinks. And slowly a trickle starts to flow. And then when you straighten the whole hose pipe, the water flows. In the same way, we need to constantly be looking for areas of our life where we are putting obstacles in the way of God blessing our life. Yeah, that's a hard word. But here's the thing. We want to be blessed. To do so, we need to position ourselves by striving for personal holiness so that we can see the Lord's blessing in our life. That's a proverb to think about on this weekend because weekends are the place sometimes we give ourselves permission to let our head down and not honour the Lord. Well, I want to invite you to try and honour the Lord in everything and then you will see that God will answer and hear your prayers. God bless and have a great weekend.